Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to show this U and V are functionally related. The necessary condition for functionally related is do of u comma v by do of x comma y should be zero. So we are going to evaluate the determinant that is the elements are do u by do x, do v by do x in the first column, then do u by do y into do v by do y in the second column. So we are going to evaluate this partial derivative of u with respect to x. Here y is constant, so first element is 1 by y. Then partial derivative of v with respect to x. We have to follow quotient rule. So we write the denominator part as it is. Then differentiation of the numerator is 1. Then minus, we have to write the numerator as it is and differentiation of the denominator is 1. Whole divided by x minus y whole square. Then coming to partial derivative with respect to y. Here x is constant and y 1 by y derivative minus 1 by y square. So x is constant, so it is minus x by y square. Then partial derivative of this v with respect to y, I write the denominator following the quotient rule, x minus y, differentiation of the numerator is 1, then minus x plus y and differentiation of the denominator is minus 1 because it is with respect to y, 4 divided by x minus y whole square. So we completed the four elements. Let's simplify the terms. Now, first element is as it is 1 by y and this is minus x by y square also as it is. Coming to this, this will become x minus y then minus x minus y whole divided by x minus y whole square. Then here it is x minus y then it will become plus x plus y whole divided by x minus y whole square. Now we have this determinant and let's simplify further. This will become plus x minus x gets cancelled, minus y plus y gets cancelled. Then the rest of the terms we get is 1 by y then minus x by y square then this is minus 2y by x minus y whole square then this is 2x by x minus y whole square. So we got the full determinant in the simplified form. We are going to expand this. During expansion, we will multiply the leading diagonal that gives us 2x by y into x minus y whole square. Then minus of, if we multiply it, will become plus. So 2xy in the numerator and denominator we have y square into x minus y whole square. So we can cancel this y and y. So finally, we get two terms, both are same with the opposite sign, that is 2x by y into x minus y whole square minus 2x by y into x minus y whole square. So both get cancelled and we get 0. Since we got do of u comma v by do of x comma y equal to 0, we can say u and v are functionally related. So we completed the first part. Then we have to find the relationship between them. There is a relationship between u and v. Let's take v. This v is x plus y by x minus y. 
since we have u as x by y, let's try to create x by y here. So we will divide both numerator and denominator by y. So we will become x by y, then this is plus 1 and this is x by y minus 1. But x by y is u. So wherever x by y is there, let's put u. So this is u plus 1 by u minus 1. Let's cross multiply. This will become bu minus b equal to u plus 1. Let's bring everything to one side. So bu minus b minus u minus 1 equal to 0. Actually we can take everything to the other side because 3 terms are negative. So this will become d plus u. Then this will become or else. Let's group here itself. Let's take u common from first and third term. So u into b minus 1. But all this rearrangement is not giving us a proper form. So it is better to give the relationship in the form of b equal to u plus 1 by u minus 1. So as per the question, find the relationship between them. So the relationship is b equal to u plus 1 by u minus 1.